Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Karate UI automation tutorial, we are going to learn about how to get the text of any web element, right? So say for example, uh, there is something on the website. So here we'll go here. Now on the website, uh, this text is there or there is a text on this button, right? So if there is any text that you want to fetch and then basically match it with the expected result how you are going to do that in karate that's what we are going to understand in this tutorial so if we go to the karate ui documentation right the official documentation karate labs.github.io okay you you will find this text function or the method there so if you go to the text method you will see that get the text content right for example we can simply provide the locator okay which contains that text okay and then the text will be fetched all right so we can store that in a variable and then match it or we can simply say match the text that is fetched with the expected text right so the expected say for example whatever we are expecting with equal to sign expected text text in the right hand side and whatever is need to be fetched from the web element will be fetched with this text function okay so now let's quickly understand how we are going to use text function to fetch the text all right let's say this is the text that i want to fetch all right so simply go ahead and let's first find what what web element is that contains this text so right click okay and inspect and let me find this highlight this okay so i'll just select this little icon here selector okay and simply click on this okay so you will see this is the paragraph right so it's a p tag there that means it's a paragraph and if you expand this you will see that this is the content right so curated content and learning road roadmaps for people aspiring to get software testing as their job okay and progress in their it career so this is the text that i want to fetch right so how we are going to basically go ahead and first thing is we have to figure fi figure out what is the locator for this particular web element right w where this paragraph is so let's find out so i'll say control f and now because this is the paragraph so you can see this is p tag and if i just right click and copy the x path let's see what x path we are getting uh, yeah let's see let's try to use this this is not absolute like very good x path but uh, as of now we are just trying to face the text if you want to master the x path then i would recommend that you go through the x path series that i have posted x path and css selector series and that will really help you to master x path and how you can find or write your own x path with with uh, those techniques that i have taught in the x path series okay so let me use this here and let me paste that x path here okay so this might change but let's see okay this process 27 this number after process might change and that's where we need to see whether the x path is dynamic and then find better ways to write x path so that even if the x path is dynamic your script doesn't fail and that's what i have explained in detail in css selector and x path series so let me uh, so this is mouse function so let me what i'll do is i'll simply save it and copy the same file and we are learning the get text right so i'll say get text dot feature and let's open get text and here let me simply in order to get text the function is text right so we can now this text is the function that will fetch the text right so it we need to store it somewhere so we can simply say we can define a variable right so we can say text and we can say text i'll say course text okay and provide the locator so which locator contains that text okay and here we can't use double quotes at two places in the parenthesis so we'll change it to single quotes inside and then the all right so now this text function if you go here on the documentation this text and the locator will basically fetch the text content okay and that should be stored in the variable that we have defined which is course text right so now i can simply say print print what print course text so this text should get printed successfully right so now if i run this 
let's see what the outcome is so open the browser it's opening the website training.rcbacademy.com and the uh, the text function should be able to fetch the text and then store it in the variable and we should be able to see it because we have used this print course text right whatever variable has basically stored this should get printed okay so let's go to the report and see the karate reports and the summary let's see if everything has passed yes everything has passed it's all green and you will see that print course text you can see curated content and learning roadmap for people aspiring to get text right uh, get software testing as their job and progress in their it career this is what the actual text is right on the website okay so this is how you are going to fetch the text now if you want to fetch this get access text on any button anywhere on this particular page or in your application you can fetch the text with absolutely similar approach okay now the purpose of this particular function is if you see here the categorization of it we go back you will see that the 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 purpose is to basically see what is the state right so whether what is the current text right of that particular web element and if we want to match that so basically in the verification we'll be using it right so if we want to check our test says that we have to verify that this particular first line is actually this text right so instead of doing this manual verification of this text on the website you can basically use the automation script and this is the script that you can basically use right now you here we are printing but then we can also match right so and i can say and match match what match course text is equal to what the actual text that we see on this particular page right so this particular text if the match will happen then the script will pass otherwise the script will fail okay so at the moment i am just hard coding everything in the script but this is not the approach that you will be following in the actual framework we'll be covering a lot more detail in the framework section wherein you can externalize all of these verification things all of the locators and your script will be looking uh, will look much cleaner okay so that's what we can use to match the actual text that will be fetched with the expected what we are expecting all right so here if we go to the documentation you will see that match right so here they are doing it all in one step but because we are printing so we are storing it in one variable then we are printing and then we are matching the text that is stored in this course text with the actual text that we are expecting okay so let me run this and see that everything works fine so website has opened it should fetch this particular text and then print it and then match it with the text that we want to match with and the test should get complete successfully all right so let me refresh the same report and you will see the print course text has happened right and then the match also happened successfully because this is the text that was fetched and this is what we are expecting okay if i change anything in here the test will fail so for example if i say just add something just do a spelling mistake here this step will fail okay let me run again and you can see that that particular step the match step is failing so it's fetching the text should fetch text then print it and then match it this time because we are expecting some other text it should fail and if we go to the report now we should be able to see the failure in the report you can see that this particular step is failing right and automatically the screenshot has been attached so you can see here in the details as well that this is what where it has failed right match failed equals because the exact the actual was this and expected was this and the equal failed because i have added a couple of extra d's there okay so this is how easy it becomes to fetch the text on any of the for any of the locator match it print it whatever you want to do in your automation script you can do absolutely fine with this particular feature okay now i'm not able to change i, I just keep forgetting this feature uh, and the test right so please ignore these things right so this is basically get text uh, when once i share uh, this particular code then i'll make sure that i get text 
and then get text testing all right so but rest all basically this is the key concept here how you are going to fetch the text print the text and then match the text okay so if you go to the documentation here this is what the text function is all about and how you are going to fetch the text and verify text on your web element and web page so that's all for this tutorial i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching